This is award winner David Perry, an action guy at work or play. Today, it's work. miles south of Los Angeles, an unusually rugged group of artists begin the first lines of code for a new action game, Messiah. It is here that David Perry will lead some of the toughest guys on or around a personal computer. Orders from Interplay Headquarters, Irvine, 1997. Select 12 men of exceptional talent. Equip them, charge them to create a game which leaps far beyond what was thought possible with modern technology. Stuart Rock, Michael Sachs Pearson, Sean Berryhill, Tony Bennett, Gabriel Roundtree, David Masika, Daniel Chevalier, Darren Hurlbutt. Torgier Haglin, Mike Damien, Siggy Galen, and Christer Sven, the Dirty Dozen, will make the game. A veteran of countless games, David Perry finds this his most demanding assignment. Same goes for the project's producer, Stuart Rock. Brought in late to the project, Stewart has had to lean hard on the team to tighten the time frame for a game that is already overdue. The deadlines get pushed, tensions rise. Either animate this faster or I'm going to beat your brains out. The month Sean Berryhill spent in prison helped put him in the right frame of mind for the task. <laughs> Perry is a pleasure to work with, a real pro. His enthusiasm is contagious. He passes it on to others and puts them at ease. On a weekly basis, the team gathers to exchange ideas and discuss strategies that will shape the course of production. It is here that the artists communicate with programmers to design an unparalleled gaming experience. Everyone has something to say as well as learn in these meetings, which serve to keep the individuals cohesive and focused on a common goal. Laguna Beach is switched on seven days a week. The team has time only for one of those days. They take a break on Broadway, the main stem of California's beach world. Swinging Laguna is an ideal setting for these men, action guys enjoying themselves on the town.
the restless vitality of the city seems to charge their batteries, setting them up for another six days of grueling work in front of their monitors. The atmosphere is friendly and relaxed, but a time for tension is just ahead. The E3, the largest convention Los Angeles has ever seen, will draw the entire industry into one place. The products will have to be outstanding to be noticed in a sea of titles, and that means overtime and a personal risk for everyone involved. As the days creep closer, the hours grow longer. The days blur into one another until the big day arrives. Before the project is over, the team will get larger. More professionals will be called in to handle specific tasks outside of the core coding and art. Professionals such as filmmaker Scott Barrett. As the game calls for large amounts of streaming video, he will assemble all the live action elements, whatever that might entail. are long and the conditions are rough but that's what it means to be part of this crew same goes for sound designers Tommy Tallarico and Joey Curris from footstep to fiery explosion the sounds that bring the game alive come from the creative minds of these two men with more than 100 games to their credit they will add sound polish in a way that only these seasoned vets can. These men came to California to make an action game that moves. They enjoy action. It's part of their way of life. The aches and pains they suffer, the risks they take are a price they'd gladly pay. Right now, with the E3 under their belt, they've earned a break. Ahead, there are more challenges, more tension and strain. But that's how it goes for men of action. That's how it is for the game makers.